Sorry about the split in the videos. Here's part two, and I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right in. All right, in. guys, so in my second drawer, here is where I have all my authentic eyeshadow palettes. I will not be swatching the BH Cosmetics because I have a BH Cosmetic haul video that I showed for you guys. I'm gonna start on this side. The first one I have is a Too Faced, the bronze and beautiful that is supposedly authentic that I got from eBay. I've never seen this on AliExpress, so I don't know. It could be fake from a long time ago, who knows. That is what that looks like. I believe I had it in a haul. I don't know, this might be really, really old. This has a, I don't know, poreless kind of bronze tint thing. I, I don't know, so that is what that looks like. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I don't really feel like swatching anything, but it's just a bunch of bronzers in here. So that is that, and that is what this one looks up in the top. The next one I have is another Too Faced one. It is the Naturally Eyes one. This is what it looks like on the back. This is authentic. Once upon a time, they had this on DHgate, but they didn't anymore. The next one I have is the Bordeaux. I don't know how to pronounce that. Eyes. Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce y'all. But this is what it looks like here. And then I have another small Too Faced one that is naturally matte, which I've never used, believe it or not. I didn't even know it came with this thing. It was probably, I don't know where this is supposed to go. But that is what it looks like here. And that is all the Too Faced I have authentic. The rest of the drawer is overtaking by BH Cosmetics. I used to have my ColourPop in this drawer, but I have way too much ColourPop. You guys will see soon. This is the nude rose. It came out not too soon. I mean, not that long ago, and some of my friends got it for me for my birthday. So thanks, y'all. Back looks like, and that's what it looks like on the inside. I used this twice. I really like this. My only issue is that the black is kind of shimmery, but I really, really like this palette. Next one I have is going to be the blush that I got from BH Cosmetics. I'm not going to really open it because this is like a blush, but it's in this drawer, so I thought I'd show you guys. Then there is the Gold Rush and the Silver Strike eyeshadow palette. That is what that looks like. Here is what it looks like open. I've used this about twice. I really like the colors in this one. I like that one more than the Silver Strike one. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's not bad. It's just I use the colors of the other one more. The next I have is the Shanex one. It is the nine color eyeshadow palette with the lip glosses. I've never used this. It is okay. It's just I don't use it. I try to and I just I don't know why. I just didn't like this eyeshadow palette too too much. I mean it's nice. It's just I don't I don't know. This is the lip part, which I would never use, and I wish I just got the eyeshadow palette. The next I have is the Take Me to Brazil. I like this because the colors are so bold, and for the big, bold colors, it's not like chalky as that Morph palette I showed you guys yesterday. So that is that one. Then there is the Galaxy Chick one, which I like. I got this because I like the design of it. I don't know if I would use these colors. I would try to, but they're really, really nice. And they have a good pigment to it. The next one is the Studio Pro. I like this one because it works so good wet or dry. I did swatch this in the BH Cosmetic video. That is what they look like. I like the design of this one compared to their normal design. Then there's the Pride and Prejudice, which is one of my top favorites from BH Cosmetics. I use this quite often as you can see i kind of like use a lot of these two colors and i like that gold too the next palette is the supernova one which is somewhat recent it were, it's like the sister palette to the galaxy chick one i really like it but i'm mad because they don't have sagittarius on here like once you're doing bh cosmetics i'm a saggy and i'm not on here next one i have is gonna be i think it's a 28 color eyeshadow palette this one is the foils here i really like this eyeshadow palette i used it like five times which is a lot for me because i like to stick to other eyeshadow palettes but i did get a good use out of this one the next one i have is a 28 color smoky eye i did use this once my complaint was that it didn't have any black it's just a gray my friend janice got this for me so thank you janice the next one i have i got it as a gift at, or i would never use it this is a 28 color lip palette that i got when they have those sales buy so much you get a thingy yeah, I swatched it. It was okay. It's just not really my thing. So that is the second drawer. Let's move on to the third. All right, guys. Second to last drawer. And here is stuff that I used once or twice, but not often. This is the Kylie Holiday eyeshadow palette from AliExpress. Or is it authentic? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's from AliExpress. Sorry about that. And then I have my AliExpress, well, DHgate Master Mario palette that I received in my group buy. The next one I have is a bunch of Lorac. This is my... Black Lorac, I used to use this all the time when I got it. And you look at my Espresso, I wish they sold that separately. But then I have the Lorac Pro 
two, I don't really know, or one. But this is what that one looks like. I got that from AliExpress. Then the Lorac Unzipped I also got from AliExpress here. I like this palette. I just never used it because I really honestly forgot that this was even in here. Then I have, oh my gosh, what in the world? They all just fell. So that was what that was. Then I have the Lorac Mega Pro 1. I am waiting on the two to come in the mail. That is what that looks like front and back. And I was really excited to get this in the mail. I did use this quite a lot. And this is what that looks like. I don't know why it's not auto-focusing on to that one. My favorite color is Wisteria in that one. In this little section I have, this is the Modern Renaissance that's unopened. I told you guys that it's clean. I also have this palette that Janice gave me in our little swap. It is like the dupe to the Tarte tease or tart uh it's tart something i don't really remember what that was called it's the tart i don't know y'all help me out it's something you know what i'm talking about this one yeah it is tart tease and here i have my tart tease palette i think i had one open once upon a time maybe possibly i don't really know where it is but i'll just open it right quick it does have that chocolatey smell it's a really good quality thing for a dhk aliexpress item having difficulties putting this back in its box then i have some stuff over here this is all my urban decay i think maybe not this is the smoky naked eyeshadow palette i love this one i just only use it twice it is a really good quality one i got it from aliexpress the next one i have is a tart palette amazonian clay thingy whatnot that's what it looks like on the inside i've never used this one then i have my abh rt's palette from aliexpress that is what that looks like and i did lose the brush i also have a dose of colors palette here i have no clue what this palette is called and i've never used it only swatched it it is okay it's just not like my favorite from aliexpress that's what that is that costs like six dollars i think then i have the dose ice cream palette it's not that bad it's just not my favorite eyeshadow palette and it is the one that is upside down then i have my kevon d from aliexpress this is the i don't know i don't remember which one this is called i'm bad with names i used to know once upon a time the butterfly one that is what it looks like on the inside. It's really good quality. I used this twice. Then I have this butterfly one that is the, I don't know. I feel like I should know this name. It's bothering me. I also used this one twice. And last but not least, I have the Kat Von D Interstellar one. And I didn't use these. I was tempted to get all of them that was on AliExpress. But since I've never used it more than twice, I didn't bother. This is the one that says Rice Bitch that I showed you guys. It is in here. And then over here, I have a nude rose that I received from BH, not BH Cosmetics, AliExpress. The quality is a really good quality palette from AliExpress. It feels authentic. Then last but not least, I have this Technicolors that Jasmine, Jasmine, Janice gave me. And it's really pigmented and everything. So that is what is all in my third drawer. We're almost done. One more drawer to go. And then I have some random eyeshadows on my little storage thing. I don't I just know. I realized that this is a five drawer dresser, not a four one. So I have two left, not just one. And here is mainly a Too Faced slash Urban Decay drawer. I do have a random Kylie in here. This one is the burgundy palette that I have received from AliExpress. And with the one I received from DHgate, I liked better. So I took it all out and put it in that first palette I showed you guys with the random things in here. This is what that looks like. I would just go ahead and swatch one for you guys just to see what that looks like. It's not a bad quality. I use this a lot. I like this one. The next one I have to show you guys and starting on the right hand side is a Too Faced Love Flush that I just showed you guys in my recent group by video that I didn't really like at all. It was just yeah <laughs> that one wasn't too bad though the next one i have is my Too faced peach that i received from ebay and this is what it looks like here oh it smells like peaches y'all so this is that one and i don't think i ever used this one at all i'm gonna just swatch this color here and it's kind of like sheer so that was that the next one i have is a Too faced chocolate that i got and this is the inside part it has a little thing like this I swatched this like a while ago. I smelt it again. <laughs> and it does smell like um chocolate. I used this once when I was doing a Harley Quinn look that a while ago. Oh, that one feels really, really buttery. So that's what that one. Oh, this is a really good palette. Why haven't I used this? I'm going to use this. This is really good. Anyways, the next one I have is the chocolate semi-sweet one. I do have the bonbons one. I gave it to my kid because they're super crappy and came broken and all that good stuff. This one doesn't really have a smell. This is what that one looks like. And this is going to be the one random color I choose. Not bad quality. It's usable. I just never used it. Next, I have this random Too Faced Smoky Eye I got from AliExpress. 
That is what that looks like here. It's not bad quality at all. It feels really buttery. Oh man, that's really good. Why haven't I used this? What? All right, so that's all the Too Faced ones I have to show you. The next one is going to be the Urban Decay ones. Here is the first one that I got from AliExpress. And I'm just going to swatch one of them randomly here. It's kind of meh, but I mean, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Never used that one. The next I have is the Naked 2. Also from AliExpress. I was really lucky with these. I paid only like $4 for them. I just kind of want it just to have it in the collection sake, you know. Next one I have is the number three, which I paid like 3 to $5 for. That is what it looks like on the inside. And I'm just going to choose a random color to swatch for you guys. I swatched these back in the day when I did my AliExpress videos on this account before people were reporting me. This is the Nerve... 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 Oh my god, this is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. I was trying to say all the words all together and it just came out really weird. I don't know what is this on here. It looks, I never noticed that before. But this is what it looks like on the inside. It is full of mattes and I just don't know if I would use it. Let's see this orange one. And oh, the orange one is okay. I might be able to use that. But that's what this one is. The next one I have is the Naked 7, which is not a real thing. It is in China thing. That's what it looks like on the inside. And that's what it looks like when color swatched randomly there. And then I have an Urban Decay Naked 6, which is also not a real thing. That is the colors here. Ooh, I like that orange. Let me just swatch that right here. Oh, that's not bad. Then I have over here the two big ones. This is the Naked 4. I want the Naked 8 big. Wait, never mind. I have it. <laughs> but this is what that looks like. I'm not going to swatch it because I ran out of room on my arm. It is a huge eyeshadow palette. The pigmentation is pretty decent. This is the Naked 8. I want to say this one was like 6 to $7 because it's a big palette. That's what that looks like. And I just wash it once upon a time. So that is all in my third drawer. This time, I promise you, is the last drawer. Right, this is as low as my ring light goes. It is the fifth and final drawer of here. We're almost done. I still got quite a few eyeshadows left. I have no clue how many I did so far. This is the drawer where I just don't use at all or it's extra the first one i have is my crappy venus 2 lime crime eyeshadow palette from aliexpress at least this one only costs four dollars this is what it looks swatch that's actually not too bad it's just a bit on the like chalky side i guess the next one i have to show you is my lime crime venus 2 this one was also this, i think this one was the one that was seven dollars i'm not sure and this one is just i don't like at all it's kind of really chalky i mean the pigmentation is there but it's just super chalky these I had on my least favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Meat Matte Nude. This is what it looks on the inside. I'm not going to really swatch these again. If you've seen my meat, I mean my least favorite eyeshadow palettes from AliExpress, eBay, and Amazon, that one was on there. Same for this one. This is the Meat Matte Trimini I got from either eBay or AliExpress. I don't really remember what. That's what it looks like here. And on the inside as well with the broken mirror there. And I just, maybe I'm not a fan of mattes. I don't know. <laughs> The next one I have is two more of the bombs. This one is going to be the Nude Dude here. That's what it looks like on the inside and there. I don't use it because it's not really like my best eyeshadow palette. It's not really as pigmented, creamy. It's kind of chalky compared to the other ones I have. And this one is the Nude Dude from the bomb I got from AliExpress. That is what it looks like on the inside. I just never use these and I doubt I ever will because I just, man. This one is the Kylie, Kylie Bronze palette I got from AliExpress. I tried to use it and I just didn't. So I cut out the ones in here and I showed you in that metallic palette that I made the colors that I do use. But the rest of them is like, eh. Next, I have the Morphe Kathleen Lights I got in my group buy here. I swatched these already and the colors is okay, but I just, I don't know. I just never used it. Then I have the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup I received from either my group or AliExpress. I gave my kid one of them because it's like okay. It's just not the bombest thing I ever got. So that's what that one looks like. Then I have an Authentic W7 in the city. I just, it's okay. Eyeshadow palette is just something that I never really reach for. Then there's this little Glam I Am. It's not technically an eyeshadow palette. It's an all-in-one thing, so I'm not going to really show you guys that. This is a full color eyeshadow palette. It was like somewhere between 2 to $3. Their eyeshadow palettes are really small, and it's really pigmented. I like these. If I can open it, I'm just going to swatch this one. This is what it looks like on the inside. Super aff affordable, and it's like... Asian brand and it's travel size too. So that's what one shadow looks like. Then in here I have these LA colors that I just got like so long ago from the dollar store that I never got rid of. An extra Huda Beauty 
one one palette that i told you guys i had another one of and i have the first one i received in my group buy this is the difference in the quality of them i never used this one i liked this one when i got it but then i love this one even more i use the other one all the time last but not least i have this jolly mode in k3 it's like a naked dupe palette i like this because it was super pigmented and as you can see they did not fall i actually used this so many times that it's like i hit the pan of them i'm gonna just try to get some kind of pigmentation i'm not flipping you off i promise on here but this is what i got it is the first asian brand anything that i ever got from amazon it came in two days i actually got it for free to review back in my reviewing days and i really really liked it so if you're just not beginning into makeup i would definitely recommend that just for you to play around with then one more thing going to my little storage area and we'll all right be before done. i begin on the last side i wanted to show you guys my zoeva collection from aliexpress i bought these all from the same seller they are just so beautiful and i recommend them hands down it's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and also i put these on the inside of my black dresser and these acrylic storages that i showed you guys in my makeup collection video first one i have to show you is sorry about that i knocked into my vanity it is the zoeva rodeo and bell I don't think I've used this. I wanted to, but I just, I couldn't think of what to do with it because I don't really typically use these colors. That is what they look like. It is really beautiful. And I will swatch one for you real quick. Look at that green. It's a really pretty green. So, sorry about that. I was kind of in the middle of eating. <laughs> the next one I have is the Zoeva Rose Gold one. I think I paid 6 to $7 per palette. This is what it looks like here on the inside. And this is what it looks like. Just one color swatched. And I will put that in the boxes later on. This one is the first one I received. It is the Cocoa Blend. I really like this one. I used this a couple of times. This is what that looks like. I will swatch this. Ooh, it's really, really buttery. Let me press that down. That's what that one looks like. They're really nice pigmentation and they really look super buttery. The next one I have for you guys, I don't know why this is kind of grainy looking. I don't know. There we go. Is the smoky one. I talk about this all the time. I love this eyeshadow palette. I swatched it so many times. I won't really swatch it again. I hit the pan and wasted the few I have left in the black. That is my favorite black color. Hands down, my favorite brown as well because it is the darkest of the both that I have out of this. I love this one and I want to get another one. The last two I have is my Zoeva. Which one is this one? I think it's the Naturally one, Naturally Yours one. I only use this one, I want to say about three times because I love the matte browns in here. That is what that looks like. And I'm going to do this one over here. And then the last one I have to show you is the metals. I use this about twice. They are really good foil. Not really foil, but you know, that kind of metal-y looking eyeshadows. I will do this one just so you guys can see the colors again. And then a little swatch quick right there. So that is all the Zoeva I have. I really do recommend them from AliExpress. They are so good and pigmented and beautiful and buttery. So now I'm going to go ahead and move to the white thing. I cannot think the name of this is. And then I'll be finally done showing you guys i promise you this is probably like 150 eyeshadow palettes if that it's probably more than that i have no idea okay so i finally figured out the word i've been trying to say shelf this whole time yeah so the first thing i'm going to show you is my ColourPop collection i have two drawers full of ones i got from aliexpress this is all the authentic one that i have i'm just trying to show you in the best way possible without dropping them all it is full i have all of the tie-dye ones that came back i have all of the other colors that came back like here i only have like two from the winter collection because i wasn't really like filling all of it i have some hello kitty in here i just i have a lot <laughs> these are all authentic and it costs five dollars a piece it is probably about 200 dollars worth of ColourPop in that container and no i'm not swatching them all if you guys want me to do a video of my ColourPop collection let me know below and i'll swatch them all and everything Next one I have is my Makeup Revolution. I had this in a haul video. It is an okay palette. It's just not my favorite. I mean, it's okay for the price because it's $15. But I mean, I don't think it's something I would use because the pigmentation is okay. It's just, I thought it would be better than it was and it's not. This is what it looks swatched right quick. Sorry for the movement of the ring light. Like it's an okay quality for the price, I guess. The next one I have is one I didn't actually, well, no, I did put this in a haul video. It is my Alice Through the Looking Glass one. I have it up here because I usually put it on top of my, sorry for the movement, 
of my black dresser and this is what it looks like i swatched this already in one of my makeup haul videos so yeah i got that when it was on sale then i have this one i got from aliexpress it is the 12 and b palette here if you can kind of somewhat see the tag this is i haven't done it in a video yet so i'm not going to swatch it just yet because i'm going to do a video soon just wanted to let you guys know that that is hiding in here. Last but not least, I have some more items on my shelf. This is where I put all the items I'm going to do real versus fake videos on. I have some ColourPop right here. There are two authentic, two are from AliExpress. I have all the Too Faced ones from uh, DHgate. This is the Eggnog Latte one that I lomp showed in a video. And I guess I'm not showing you now because it fell. The Peppermint Mocha one that I got from DHgate. And I did a video on these as well in case you're interested. And then there's a gingerbread cookie one. This is all the ones from DHgate. And then I have the same ones authentically with the box that it came in that I showed you guys earlier. So that is all the ones over here. I have the Nubian 2 that I got from AliExpress. That is a little bit dirty for some reason. I haven't used it yet. I only swatched it. Then over here, I have my Christmas in New York authentic one and the one from AliExpress. I'm planning on doing a real versus fake video on these soon, so stay tuned for that. So I am finally done showing you guys all of my eyeshadows in my eyeshadow collection. Let me know what you think of this video. Thumbs up if you like my collection. Thumbs down because you're a hater and you just want a thumbs up. I'm just kidding. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to do any kind of swatches, complete collection like ColourPop, Zoeva, whatever. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day, night, wherever you are.